Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Understanding of Research Papers. Today in this tutorial I am going to explain uh, the paper Pointer Network by Oriel Vinyals, Mier Fortunato and Navdeep Chetli. So uh, Oriel Vinyals is a very well known person in uh, deep learning or machine learning and um, he was working in Google Brain at the time of uh, publishing this paper and right now is in uh, DeepMind and uh, Navdeep Chetli is also a very well known person and, uh, and uh, I think he is uh, right now working for NVIDIA and uh, so in this tutorial today uh, I am going to explain uh, the overview of uh, this paper which is uh, pointer network then uh, I will give you a small uh, intro to uh, combinatorial search or uh, combinatorial optimization problems which they are going to be considering in this paper to solve and uh, we'll see uh, what is the model they are training uh, model model what is the model they are using to solve these sort of uh, combinatorial optimization problems then uh, we'll see the data and we'll see uh, experimental setup and finally we'll see some results so uh, in this paper uh, this pointer network paper uh, basically uh, this this paper uh, tries to solve this problem of con combinatorial optimization or com combinatorial search problem i'll give you examples of those uh, in the coming slides but uh, this paper is mostly uh, uh, mostly about uh, learning to predict uh, the condition of probability of output sequence which is which are sort of pointers to the uh, input elements uh, we will we'll understand this uh, uh, these uh, points uh, in the coming slides uh, very well and uh, basically in this these problems uh, these uh, combinatorial search problems basically the output dictionary is basically depends on the input uh, length so uh, so the those are the type of problems uh, this uh, algorithm is trying to solve and uh, this paper uh, basically uses uh, attention network attentions which are basically predicted as uh, predicted during uh, sequence -to sequence model uh, if you know sequence -to sequence and uh, those attentions are considered as a pointers to select the members of the input uh, as a Say members of the input sequence as the output so basically uh, we will see uh, what is this meaning of the sentence in the coming slides and uh, basically they show that uh, using this sort of uh, pointer network model you can improve uh, uh, the accuracy of or improve this uh, uh, improve over uh, sequence to sequence models with attentions and uh, also they should be uh, they they as i said uh, they are uh, like kind of working with variable size uh, input uh, inputs dictionaries sorry output uh, variable size output dictionaries so uh, what are these combinatorial search problems uh, basically uh, given uh, set of uh, points uh, in the x y coordinate for example in this case so you have x and y coordinate and there are different points in this uh, x y coordinate and i want to find a convex hull of this uh, point so basically convex hull is that uh, you can see this border points of this uh, these are all other points so basically what should happen uh, what should happen uh, uh, in reality is if somebody gives you uh, some data points i mean this may not be exactly 10 or 9 10 uh, data points it can be many uh, data points that's what i'm saying so there are different length data points you can give so i mean these are not data points these are some sort of points in the space and uh, let's say you are given uh, these sort of points and if you are asked to find the convex hull for these uh, points so what you should do essentially do is you you have to find the edge points of this uh, entire uh, data right so basically you can see here basically the problem tries to take all the points p1 p2 p10 and tries to find out the points which are required for fitting this convex hull right so if you think there are 10 points so we will say this this 10 points are input to our model basically and output should be these indices which are like 2 7 6 or you can come this way also 2 4 3 5 6 and 7 right so these are the points which are the outputs right so obviously you will get these points these these points when you look into the input basically you can simply point when you get this uh, data i mean data is input to the encoder you can simply point or you can simply predict two four three five six seven eight but the problem with prediction or if the problem with putting a softmax to predict this sort of these indices is put giving a variable length uh, data so basically when i say variable length data if this 10 points becomes 20 points then the convex hull will be different that means the number of 
outputs here are going to be different right so that's why the softmax so since in any uh, any classification model or any regression model you will have the softmax that softmax can only have a fixed length dimension fix fixed uh, length which is called let's say it's a output vocabulary or output dictionary which has to be uh, which has to be fixed but in this sort of combination uh, combinatorial search problems you will not get so not combinatorial search i mean in in the case of uh, problems where the output output uh, depends on the length of the input in that case you can't use a normal softmax so that's why this pointer network is going to be a lot of helpful in this uh, problem because it takes the variable length input and actually predicts the variable length output i mean the variable outputs so uh, that is that's the advantage of this uh, uh, pointer network so we will come to we'll see what is the pointer network exactly how exactly the pointer network works but the problem it is trying to solve in this case i mean for this example is get, taking set of points p1 to p10 or pn let's say and predicting the indices of these points which are going to be the convex hull edges right that is one problem then there is something called De uh, delaunay uh, triangulation problem where given uh, points like p1 p2 p3 p4 uh, p5 you want to find out uh, triangles for example this is one triangle right so 5 1 4 is a triangle Five, uh, five, P5, P3, P1 is a triangle, P2, P1, P3 is a triangle. So basically the model should be able to take variable n variable number of uh, points, P1 to P5 or it can be P10, 20, anything and it should be able to predict these uh, these uh, three digits, basically the three, uh, three uh, indices are going to be the one uh, triangle, right. So this is again uh, sort of uh, looking back into the input length and finding out what are the points to pick. So this is again the problem where uh, the output dictionary is uh, not fixed. I mean that means the, the output dictionary is depends on the length of the input. And finally we will see a very interesting problem of traveling salesman problem. TSP problem as, uh, as everybody knows the TSP problem is NP hard problem. It's a very difficult problem. It's a search of problem or optimization problem where uh, if you consider these red points as the cities and the travel uh, traveling salesman has to go through each of the city he doesn't he should not miss any of the cities but uh, you should reduce the time of uh, visiting uh, all the cities that means basically you want to try to find out the path in which this traveling salesman can uh, traveling salesman can follow the paths so that the time is uh, the minimal basically uh, basically these red dots are cities and uh, these are the path he is traveling so given all these points you find an optimal path basically when i say optimal path the best path of uh, uh, but you can see this, you can you can assume this uh, blue path as the best path but you can think of uh, when when the when the traveling salesman comes to this city he can go to this city or he can also go to this city so that way the problem is uh, i mean uh, order of n into log n right so the problem is uh, np hard problem and it's a combinatorial problem again so how do we solve this uh, using pointer network is also one very interesting thing and we'll see how uh, how to uh, tackle this uh, sort of problems i mean even if it is not 100 percent i mean how to get a reasonably well uh, good uh, choice of uh, search path uh, using pointer network we'll see that in the uh, coming slides then uh, coming to the model so the model basically as i said uh, it's, it's a encoder decoder sort of uh, model uh, first i will just show you like how the model roughly looks and then we'll go into the actual uh, implementation equations and all that so first if you look at the sequence to sequence model as everybody know the sequence to sequence model you have uh, inputs x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 then uh, if you want to use it for the same convex hull problem what you should do is you should fix the dictionary size when i say dictionary uh, dictionary size you can only if your softmax can predict only four number then the 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 number of points you can feed as input is should be only four should not be more than four or it should not be less than four right so uh, so that four points are going to go as an input to the model and the model can predict uh, uh, given uh, these four points uh, what should be the uh, what should be the convex uh, edges convex hull edges like p1 p2 and p4 so it predicts that as you can see here like uh, first it says one then it says four which is right and then it says two again then it goes back to one which is correct right so this is what we want but the problem with this model and you can also put attention to this and i mean you can get reasonably well accuracy but the problem with this model is it can't handle the uh, 
variable sized dictionaries which are variable size outputs that is one problem but how do we tackle that we'll show that using this sort of pointer network so the pointer network if you actually look into it it is sort of similar to sequence to sequence model as you can see here uh, it's a similar to sequence to sequence model it has an encoder and it has a decoder but something else is going on here it is not just predicting uh, the outputs here it is actually going and pointing to the inputs and these vector these uh, arrows if you see those sort of look like uh, some sort of a softmax uh, score softmax score or some vector we will see that these values are actually the attention values uh, you will get uh, once you apply the attention we will see that and even it's the same thing happens like once you predict this then it goes to the next step and predicts what should be the next uh, uh, the point to go and then it again predicts what should be the next point to go so that way it is sort of uh, taking care of the variable length because uh, it is not it is not constrained that it has to have a softmax of uh, let's say dimension 4 it can simply take all the inputs and simply go back and look for the, all the inputs right so that way this problem of variable length uh, input and uh, fixed sized uh, fixed sized output softmax is solved in this case so we'll see actual equation exact equations uh, in the coming slides so first let's look at the sequence sequence model uh, in the sequence sequence model what we want to do is we have a p which is basically the the paths or you can say the points right p p1 p2 p10 in convex cell uh, convex cell problem we have seen then cp is basically the uh, cp is basically uh, these indices so the indices of this convex cell so you can think of the in this problem you can think of p1 p2 p3 p4 sorry p1 p2 p3 p4 as the p capital p right and cp should be p1 p3 sorry p1 p4 and p2 right those are the output indices right and that is the training pair given to me and what i want to do is i want to find out the conditional probability of cp given capital p and parameterized by a model which has parameters theta right so that model could be rnn as we know because this is a sequence uh, transaction problem where uh, we will find out this probability of cap, uh, capital C capital P given uh, capital P can be decomposed into conditionals class conditions basically so if you think uh, there are m m of capital P number of uh, outputs so in the case of the previous example here m of capital P is nothing but 3 and the dimension of uh, i i goes from 1 to 3 uh, sorry not uh, yeah 1 to 3 and uh, you will find out the uh, probability of uh, uh, ci which is the current index given the previous indices and the input sequence itself and parameters theta right so as you can see here uh, p can take n uh, n inputs uh, and uh, we'll see what are those inputs as the sequence of length n uh, and and those can be vectors also in the case of our case you are actually feeding the locations means locations means xy coordinate of that particular point and cp is basically uh, has a dimension m of capital p and uh, these indices which are like basically c1 c2 cmp can take value between 1 and n because we want to put a pointer to one of the n uh, inputs right so it just says okay which index i want to look into or which index is the output for the current uh, gen I mean generator model right and uh, during training I mean that is the setup but uh, during training what I want to do is I want to maximize the uh, conditional probability um, maximize the probability which I uh, here which I am showing conditional probability uh, log of the conditional probability and you take the sum over all the uh, training set basically so uh, taking the sum over all the training set in the sense like all the pairs you have in your training data and you maximize that probability and whatever uh, when, when you maximize the probability whatever parameter you get that's the uh, parameter you are going to choose that is a theta star right that is one way of doing sequence to sequence or using sequence to sequence model for this sort of uh, convex hull uh, uh, generation or uh, Delaunay uh, triangulation or tra salesman, uh, traveling salesman problem but uh, this is not efficient because we are always constrained that uh, in sequence to sequence the output softmax has to have uh, fixed dimensionality and uh, in the case of uh, these problems where the output variable is depends on the input variable or output output actual basically depends on the input uh, variable input length then this is not going to work right and uh, there's one more uh, which is basically sort of uh, 
next version of sequence to sequence model but it will have something called attention so basically what's happening here as we know we have uh, n number of inputs and as we feed when we feed these n number of inputs or n uh, points to the to the en encoder we get the hidden state activities which you can call it as e1 e2 en right there are n number of hidden activities then uh, in the output also you get uh, the hidden activities which you can call it as d1 till uh, dm of capital p so m of capital p is the output length right now now uh, what these guys are trying to do is uh, they are trying to uh, take these states and generating sort of attentions attention vectors so basically what they do they take uh, they take these vectors e1 uh, e2 e3 uh, whatever the input hidden states input encoder hidden state and then uh, they take decoder hidden state and they transform it they apply affine transformation uh, through uh, matrix w1 and w2 they sum those uh, vectors right then uh, they find out the tan h of that and then they then they take the transpose of v transpose which is basically going to give you a single number so at a particular j which is 1 to n and a particular i uh, which is uh, 1 to uh, m of capital p you have a single value uij and you apply softmax to it you get a attention vector so attention vector if j goes from 1 to n so this attention vector you put take those attention vectors or attention uh, but attention vector is basically length of n so the each vector en you weight those vectors by these attentions uh, uh, a1 a2 a3 and uh, a capital uh, let's say n sorry a n small n so once you weight that once you weight them you just sum all the hidden state so that is going to be your di uh, uh, hat or di uh, this one then you concatenate this to those two vector and uh, predict the uh, predict what should be the output uh, but uh, the very short of the output, but here it's, uh, it's shown that uh, W1 and W2 are learnable matrices, uh, and V V also is a learnable matrix. So once you apply this uh, attention mat attention uh, attention uh, uh, technique, then you uh, take those two and then feed it to another softmax. But here again the problem here is you again have fixed dimensionality at the output. Uh, I mean fixed dimension is since uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it's not variable basically the output has to be uh, has to have fixed dimension like maybe phi in the previous example what i showed you uh, but that is again not uh, feasible for our case because we want we want a system which will which the output can be variable based on the input uh, length right so for that uh, they are proposing this pointer network basically so it's a same uh, previous this is sort of almost similar to this model but what they are trying to consider is here they are taking this they are finding this uji using the previous formula itself because this same formula they are here they have here w1 and w2 learnable matrix and v is also so then then what they are doing is they are directly taking this vector this vector is of uh, dimension n they're taking this vector and they are applying softmax to this to normalize the scores to 0 or 1 right so when they normalize the score to 0 or 1 whatever maximum value they get they are going to point to that particular that particular index for example since this is of length n this will have values values between 0 and 1 at every index and the vector dimension is capital n sorry small n which is the length of the input now you go and pick up the argmax of this vector which is going to give you some index and you will say that that is my output that is my input index so that is what uh, is shown here so uh, this output is nothing but its output is a vector of dimension n this n can be variable and this output can also be variable because you don't you are not putting any constraints of uh, fixed dimensionality uh, like uh, fixed vocabulary uh, sort of uh, thing so it's just the output attention vector the attention vector will vary when the input length varies and but you are getting the values between 0 and for for all the uh, vectors and you take the one which is giving the highest value for this case the attention vector attention vector is gives, uh, telling that the indices at uh, indices indices uh, index at the index 1 is actually have a higher probability so you choose that so that way you can train this model then uh, uh, then you can say uh, this is how i am going to apply it to any sort of uh, uh, variable uh, dictionary uh, output dictionary problems and uh, again it is applied to uh, the combinatorial uh, optimization problems right so this is how it is done and uh, this is the whole idea i mean i hope you guys have understood uh, what is the technique 
then uh, i'll i am going to jump into the uh, experiments part uh, here they are uh, saying they are not doing much experiments i mean they are not uh, they are not looking for any optimal uh, network or anything they are just taking a single layer lstm uh, with either uh, 256 or 512 hidden, uh, hidden units then they are trained with stochastic gradient descent with learning rate of 1.0 they are using batch size of 128 and a random uniform weight normalization from minus uh, 0 0.08 to plus 0 0.08 and they are using l2 gradient clipping of uh, 0 0.2.0 then uh, they have uh, generated 1 million training examples pairs and so and uh, that's the training data and that's the model they are using coming to the results uh, first result i'm um, sorry i think the second result i have put the second result is about uh, finding the uh, traveling sales problem i mean applying this uh, pointer network to uh, uh, traveling salesman problem and uh, uh, this uh, basically what they have is uh, in the first column they have n which is basically the length of the uh, tour tour basically so length of the tour is basically 5 10 uh, 50 uh, whatever they are increasing uh, the size and uh, they have optimal uh, solutions for any traveling salesman problems which are of length less than 20 and uh, for this algorithm uh, they have uh, sorry for this to get this optimal uh, optimal uh, traveling salesman uh, 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 output so they are basically basically using one algorithm uh, i forgot the name of the algorithm it's uh, something like hard uh, something uh, that algorithm is basically gives you the optimal solutions for any traveling salesman uh, problem but uh, with a length uh, uh, with a tour length less than 20. so that's why for 5 and 10 they have these uh, numbers which are like uh, these numbers are like uh, optimal numbers actually for these lengths and you can't go below these numbers right because this is the optimal values then they have a uh, uh, other paper like uh, there was one paper in 2015 uh, which was introduced and uh, which is called you can call this as a1 and that has some number here and a2 a3 are same similar versions i mean different versions of this uh, same a1 paper and uh, again pointer network is giving almost same uh, accuracy uh, for i mean almost optimal solution uh, for uh, traveling salesman problem and uh, in the case of tour length 10 also they are getting optimal almost optimal uh, solution and 50 uh, this is not applicable uh, something here they have told and then uh, uh, i mean it's uh, almost i mean it's the same uh, process here and as you can uh, I mean, what we can conclude from this uh, uh, table is that uh, traveling salesman problem is uh, i mean uh, traveling salesman problem using pointer network is uh, is actually uh, the right way uh, not right way i mean it's actually good way to uh, do it because uh, since the optimal solution uh, optimal solution which we can get uh, for uh, traveling salesman problem using uh, that algorithm what i was telling the optimal algorithm can give it uh, for the length only be less than 20 but if uh, if you are traveling uh, i mean if your tour length is greater than uh, 20 then it's better to go with uh, a pointer network right so that is the idea then uh, coming to the second example which is about the convex hull uh, example uh, convex hull problem so basically they are showing the accuracy uh, of lstm uh, just lstm the accuracy is worst and if you put attention it's around 38 percent for the length of n50 uh, and uh, for pointer net it's very good basically it is uh, 72 which is like uh, much better than this uh, lstm plus attention then uh, in the same way they have uh, for uh, different uh, length different length n and uh, they are again showing the accuracy here the pointer and is again uh, is best in this case and uh, it's the same thing and uh, at the end you can see some results here so this actually this example is use, using lstm uh, lstm and uh, the input length is 50 obviously since it's just lstm doesn't it's not a pointer network, the output also has to be 50 and as you can see this is not at all good this has a lot of error because the convex cell is these edges the uh, the green edges but uh, this uh, thing is predicting uh, different different ones and uh, the same uh, the end this is one example and if you look at the pointer network actually it's uh, very decent so it's actually even there is there are a lot of points here it is trying to predict the, the pre uh, trying to predict the convex cell very neatly which is a good thing then uh, coming to uh, the uh, uh, Delanoi uh, um, triangulations problem, uh, this is the ground truth and uh, 
the other pointer network is fairly decent it's very good and coming to the uh, traveling salesman problem the optimal tour or optimal path of the traveling salesman problem uh, traveling salesman for this uh, data points or for this uh, you can say cities you can this black dots you can consider as cities and this green is the connection and the distance between these two points are like similar in either direction so that's why i mean and uh, it's actually giving you uh, almost same results i mean it's almost good like it's, it's comparable to ground truth right and uh, this is a good uh, news and uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more content thank you